Hi, let's take a look at New Window 11 on Bisonic VST Multipanner. In this project, I have created a third order on Bisonic Output Bus that I call H083 for high order on Bisonic 3, and a phone channel which automatically insert the VST on Bisonic decoder within the phone channel in order for us to monitor the sound. Now you can open and close the Ambisonic decoder in the control room phone section and this integrated plugin will decode this third order Ambisonic configuration into stereo banal through headphone. Now you can also play back through a basic stereo speakers outputs. Now you have different HRTF mode available depending on the configurations and you can also create and insert your own sofa file. We also have 8-tracking, which you can set up under Project 8-tracking. And this plugin will allow you to set up your VR controller, like a Noculus headset, for example. Finally, you have a front focus option to emphasize or attenuate a defined sector of the Ambisonic sphere. If we look at the VST multipanner in Ambisonic mode, double-click on the fader section of the inspector, in contrast with channel-based speaker configuration, an ambisonic format offers spherical sound field, which allows you to place sound sources anywhere within the sound sphere. Now, the VST multipanner in ambisonic mode also offers an extended display for top view and rear view, as well as the same positioning parameters found in a channel-based speaker configuration. You now have a distance section parameter which allows you to adjust the sound field in meters, which will also attenuate the volume of the sound source accordingly. On the diversion sections, you now have a source size parameters to spray the sound source in a sound field. And finally, a scale section with available parameters based on a track type. Now let's play and take a look at a few different type of audio files with added automations, starting with uh, three mono channels. Here we have some uh, source size applied to the first mono channel. There's another mono channels. Another one here. And we have a couple of stereo files here with added scaling here. And source size again. And then here we have a quad channels, some height, apply, scaling, as well as source size applied to it. And finally, let's play this third order on B-Sonic file.